Hello, everybody, and uh, thank you so much for watching. It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. How do you not be a doofus? Well, a little critical thinking every once in a while. Before you automatically believe something, ask why, how, who, when, where, basic questions. There was an episode that uh, came out last night that had uh, audio that was supposed to have been uh, Grandmaster Jay uh, uncovering him as a uh, um, previous occupation, we'll say. And um, I said last night that I'm reporting that this is out there. I'm not saying that uh, it is authentic. And uh, of course, it was not authentic. But it's important that we uh, speak truth to the lies. When we, uh, when we suspect something's not true, it's important that we look at it, that we examine it, that we make sure that it's uh, not true, and we stop it. Now, let me just show you real quick here. Actually, Here is how that audio is being displayed on the internet right now. Here is what that audio actually came from. And you can clearly see this is not Grandmaster J. So again, had we not put the audio out last night, so many of you wouldn't have tracked down that original video, but a lot of you did. The original source video, and of course it was not Grandmaster J. We probably have a pretty good idea why it was uh, portrayed that it was, and um, the fact that a lot of people are uh, just against Grandmaster J for what he's done. And uh, that's just not the purpose of this show. It never has been. It's not about being for or against anything. It's uh, with the exception of ending all racism. It's about uh, just speaking the truth and especially speaking truth to lies. Now, all this stuff that's going on with uh, QAnon, that there are, uh, there's a, a whole cabal, if you will, of uh, vampires and uh, cannibals that are actually running the country. Um, it sounds so incredibly absurd. And, um, and it is incredibly absurd. But yet so many people believe it. And it's just like somebody sitting back going, let's just see how far they will go, how much they will believe, how big of a lie can I tell? We gotta speak truth when we see lies. And, and Lies are everywhere in this century, in this medium. And we've got to recognize uh, problems, if you will, or um, I don't know, um, maybe problems isn't, isn't the best word. We've got to uh, recognize things that keep happening over and over and over, reoccurrences, okay? And I've often spoke about how um, the right wing and the ultra right wings of our country, um, they will create a problem themselves. They'll blame somebody else for the problem and then they will play victim. And you're gonna see that happening at the highest level in United States Congress. There's a Republican Congresswoman that wants to be on the uh, Education Committee. And uh, she has said that the school shootings are false flags, that they never really happened. Um, if you can imagine the pain, uh, the reoccurrence of pain that causes to parents of, of uh, kids that were killed in school shootings. and. Uh, she perpetuates uh, numerous QAnon 
uh, conspiracies, not rooted in anything other than the internet. And um, if I had not done the episode I did last night, if the audio that was um, reported to be uh, Grandmaster J, if that hadn't been exposed, if it hadn't have been torn down, uh, do you not think that that would have perpetuated? Don't you think it was shown up on other shows that uh, main objective is to um, to bring down Grandmaster J, I guess is, is the best way of putting it. So take it for what you will. Uh, it was, um, it, it was not Grandmaster J. The um, representation I showed you that is currently out there is not Grandmaster J. And uh, hopefully we've put an end to that. And this doesn't grow and it doesn't perpetuate. And it doesn't show up on, um, on other people's shows that um, tend to want to discredit Grandmaster J. And uh, again, that's not, it's not, and never has been the purpose of this. We've documented everything that the NFAC and Grandmaster J do, uh, good or bad. And um, it's because I believe the movement's historic. And um, I believe it needed to be documented from the start. And, and I did it and nobody else had been doing it or, or is doing it um, from the beginning. And um, that's why we pay. That's why we pay attention to things that other people don't pay attention to. So, uh, I want to thank all of the viewers. Um, dozens of people sent me the original video uh, to show the source of that audio, and um, I'm not going to promote in any way, shape, or form uh, what's out there now, other than uh, what I've already shown. And it's just to uh, give you example, just to give you proof of what is actually out there. So don't go looking for it. Let's hope it weathers and dies, as uh, as do as we hope with uh, with the QAnon lies. Um, our country's never going to heal as long as ignorance and hatred is uh, perpetuated, and uh, that's happening, and it continues to happen, and uh, we have to stand up and speak truth to it. In my opinion. Just something to think about. It's the American Doofus Show. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. And uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we will have Star with us. It's E-A-R night on um, ADS, American Doofus Show. And um, we will be talking about the history of race. We'll be getting a three-part series on E-A-R night uh, coming up through uh, the month of February. Um, uh, Black History Month, and we're going to be begin with the history of race. Then we'll talk about race as it uh, as it is in the present, and then uh, the final week will be um, what we hope to build in the future. So, uh, until tomorrow night, until next episode, if something breaks, you know we'll be back. Uh, I love you all. I thank you all. Um, honor and respect to all of you, and um, I wish you nothing but peace. See American Doofus Show. Be a light. It's still a dark world. Try to be a light, but don't try to be a doofus. I love you. <laughs>